Hey guys, it's DJ again here at Norse Marine, and today we've got a special boat that just showed up. It's the 2022 Nitro Z21 XL that we've all been waiting for. This here is a totally redesigned boat with a lot of different electronics. So let's climb inside and see what it's all about. All right, so what sets the Z21 XL apart from all of the previous year models is the redesign of the front deck. We still have the 86 quart ice chest in the middle with the snap-in sandwich tray and trash receptacle. So the most noticeable difference on the 21 XL is going to be the center part of the front deck where we have dual tackle storage areas that are illuminated. We've also got rod storage tubes in here as well so we can put seven rods on either side and a lot of tackle boxes in here. All right, so on either side of the tackle storage areas, port side, we have a rod locker. Starboard side, we have just another storage area where we can store all of our supplies, such as life jackets, rain suits, all of the extras. So just forward of the tackle storage areas, we've got a brand new design and some day boxes where we can keep our soft plastic worms, crankbaits, just easy access items. All right, so what makes this boat really special to us is this is a fully rigged Garmin network system boat. It's got Garmin Pan Optics Live Scope, Garmin 126 SV head units on both bow and dash, also paired with the Garmin Force trolling motor. Even better, we've got it paired with all of the Tracker Lithium batteries. Okay, so let's dive into the Garmin network system. It's going to offer dual matching 12 inch monitors, which both have all of your traditional features such as charts, down view, clear view, and side view. And then the most awesome feature of the whole network is going to be the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope, which is basically the underwater camera. Okay, so with the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope, very easy to recognize the trees that we have coming on the screen and you'll see all these fish that keep swimming away or to the trees. Easy way to figure out where exactly they are is if you look at the top, we've got our range out, meaning how far away from the boat we are. We've also got our depth here. So basically we're in 35 foot of water and we're looking at about 60 feet. And we can tell that right now we've got about 25 foot in front of us, there's a tree, some fish on the back side. Different view, another tree. Lots of fish suspended over here. And it's pretty much right under the boat. So everything with this Garmin network that we see up front on the bow of the boat, we're also going to be able to see at the dash. So let's head back there and take a look at that graph as well. All right, so as you can see, we're here at the dash and notice that the screen at the dash and at the bow are both showing the exact same thing. So again, back to that Garmin network system, we can share screens and all of the information between the two graphs. Okay, so here at the dash, a couple noticeable differences is number one, the steering wheel. They've redesigned the steering wheel to match the custom wheels on the trailer. The digital touchpad, which controls basically everything on the boat, such as our live wells, our LED deck lights, all of those fun features. A couple other features that we've added to this specific boat is going to be our kicker stereo system, our oxygen generators for our live wells to help keep those fish alive. And then we've also got a Ram mount X-Grip phone holder. So moving to the port side of the boat, we've got a removable port console with a huge glove box area. Beneath it, we've got a storage drawer. And then on the other side of it, we've got more easy access rod storage. Okay, so moving to the back deck, we've got a easily removable center seat with another storage drawer underneath. Just behind that, we're gonna have our nitro bump board which is in between both of our dual live wells. With there already being a lot of storage on the boat, we're going to add even more here at the back with our removable tackle trays. These boxes will hold seven Plano 3700 boxes and we have one of these tubs on either side of the boat. Okay, so here at the back of the boat, this is where the biggest changes came for the Z21 XL. They've redesigned the top deck to where this step pad goes all the way to the edge shortened it here so we have more interior space of the boat and then the biggest change is the redesign of the lower hull part of it still has the rapid planing system so it gives us 
exceptional hole shot and top end speed. All right, so we've got dual 10 foot Minn Kota talons attached to an Atlas hydraulic jack plate. And then if we poke our head underneath the jack plate, we're going to have another LED light. So it's an underwater light for you nighttime fishing guys. And right next to that, we've got our all new remote drain plug. So we don't ever have to crawl back under that boat to screw the drain plug in. So this boat's actually going to be powered by a Mercury 250 Pro XS four stroke, which has a lot of power. So to finish out the Norris Marine Nitro Z21 XL, we've actually got it paired with a DD26 transom saver and also the steering clips. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and we'll see you on the water.